Unreal Engine 5 just dropped. Let's launch. I'm gonna go straight off the bat. Games I want to make. Mm, let's go first person. Straight in, let's play, see what happens. Cool, I don't have a gun. Ah, I gotta run into the, there we go. Pick up a gun. Now I wanna make this look pretty, so I'm gonna jump straight into Quixel. This button up here, Quixel Bridge, already logged in. Let's find some nature assets. Um, ooh, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. And I'm just gonna go through and pick a few. And as well, we'll jump over, probably grab some plants. And now that we've downloaded a whole bunch, let's jump into local and take what we want. We want this one, this one, and I'm just gonna click on a few, bring them over. And if now we come into content browser, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of mega scans. Let's just minimize that. And first off, I'm just gonna grab a few. I'm just gonna put them off screen, click and drag, and we're throwing in assets. So let's move that off. And then by holding Alt and click and dragging, we can duplicate. And this, I'm assuming, is already set up with Nanite, so we know that it's gonna run fairly smooth. And I mean, although they're, they're all the same asset, they seem very, still fairly broken up, which is exactly what we want. That's looking pretty suave. Let's maybe just give it a little bit of a, a moss piece happening here. We'll just blend that into the ground, like so. Right, let's get rid of these boxes. Out of the way, sunshine. Let's try and do some foliage. So let's go there into select mode, foliage. Let's add all that foliage. And then if we start drawing, and of course I stuffed up and didn't select them all. I'm gonna put tick in the marker over here on the left. There we go. Aha, there we go. All right, let's bring that density down now. Yeah, right, look at this. And then we're gonna press play. That's looking pretty, that's looking pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's only been like two, three minutes. That's pretty grouse. However, I have been playing with photo scans. So jumping over into Blender, these are some photo scans that I took. These are available on my Patreon. If we go to get them in, we need to go File, Export, FBX. We will save them. This one says Cement Wall. Path Mode, I want the textures to be a part of this model. We go Copy, and we make sure that we have this option selected. We only want to do selected objects and we'll go export FBX. Now in Unreal Engine, let's open up our content drawer. Let's just quickly add in a new folder. Well, actually, so you go here, new folder, right click. Let's go to the location of our file, cement walls, click and drag and throw that in. Now we're going to enable build nanite because that's what's going to, going to save us a lot of resources. And then from here, I'm just going to go import all. Uh, don't care about that back into the content drawer. Let's grab this wall. And it's beautiful that it is to scale. Uh, where can we put it? I just wanna try and just have a squeeze at what we're gonna be looking at. Let's just throw it in here, bring it down a little bit. Um, what I might do as well is I've already pre-exported some other ones as well, which is two ground coverings. So let's bring them in as well. And we will bring in, that one is stuffed. So we have to fix that one up in Blender. And here is a dirt road that I took. Um, we can scale it up. We can bring it down a smidgen. Um, let's kind of give it a rotation just to kind of hide the fact that we're repeating this. And all I'm doing is holding Alt when I do one of the transforms. And then obviously what we could do is lower it some more just so we've got some rocks peeking through. And then we've got this transition. Press play. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm looking forward to the possibilities. I am really, really pumped and excited to see what's gonna come out of this. Uh, I look forward to getting iClone and Reillusion into here as well. Mm -hmm. 